We are here for XMAS coding challenge contest. Specially, we are conducting on Hacker Rank platform. Okay, all the best. Hello everyone, this is Ratna Mala, Assistant Professor from CSA Department. These questions are related to the Christmas theme as the coding challenges of uh, Xmas coding challenge. And these types of coding challenges not only enables or enhances our coding skills, but also make us think in broader way and also think in all the directions where we can use our uh, programming skills. On the occasion of Christmas, we have participated in this coding contest and gained some knowledge on the programming languages. Our faculty supported us and encouraged us to participate in this contest. Hi everyone, I'm Xmas Coding Challenge and I'm happy that I have participated in this uh, program uh, which is conducted in Hacker Rank platform. Today in our college we have conducted a Christmas coding challenge in which few questions were given with the hidden test cases in Hacker Rank platform. It helps us to enhance our coding skills uh, as there are a few hidden test cases for the given questions it helps also helps us to enhance our logical and coding uh, skills uh, and we have to write the code in a given time complexity and space complexity so it helps us to write the code in a faster and a optimal manner now let us see one of the question given in the xmas coding challenge this is moving average to this is the problem statement given and the given input format is the input is a sequence of non-negative floating point numbers terminated by a minus one. The minus one is not part of the sequence. There will be at least three numbers in the sequence. There are few constraints mentioned. The constraint mentioned here is non-negative floating point number. The output should be printed in the following format. We have to print the output with the moving average of the sequence. It should be printed correct to one digit after the decimal. This is a sample input given. Here it is terminated by minus one. And for the given sample input, this is the sample output. This is the code that I have written for the above question. I have when you just run the code here, my test case has been passed. And now when I click on submit code, all the test cases that are hidden are also passed and my code is accepted. I am here to explain one of the question. The question is smallest. Uh, you will be given two arrays and uh, first the input line will be the size then array then another size then another array you should find the minimum of the first array which is not present in the second array so for example uh, here two arrays are given two three four first array and the second array is one three five seven so first we'll calculate the minimum of first array that is 2 check whether it is present in the second array so 1 3 5 7 2 is not present so you, you, you can directly print for example uh, so the output here will be 2 once I will run this code uh, uh, test case is passed but hidden case, test cases are also there so I'll submit and check whether it's passing or not yeah, all the test cases passed. Thank you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas.